on MCTV this week. Monmouth College's plan to build a new parking lot was approved, and watch how students and staff gathered together in remembrance of 9-11. This week starts now. Hello and welcome to MCTV This Week. For Christian Corbett, I'm Lily Guillen. Last Tuesday, the City of Monmouth discussed a new college parking lot across from Bowers Hall. The discussion began with Vice President of Finance and Business Richard Marshall speaking about the project and answering questions from the City Council. After Marshall spoke, a member of the community expressed concern about the littering and crime that could come with the parking lot being across from his home. The City Council approved the project 7 to 1. Naturally, the council was very dutiful in terms of reflecting the concerns of the city and the concerns of the citizens of the city regarding the parking lot and how it may affect them or disaffect them, but uh, it was a good discussion uh, and I'm pleased with the outcome, naturally. The college will now move forward to planning the new parking lot. Sunday marked the 15th anniversary of one of the nation's biggest tragedies. On September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks killed about 3,000 people and injured another 6,000. In memory of those lost, tradition. students, staff, and faculty the gathered at the 9-11 Memorial on campus for a short evil, service led by Reverend Terry Ott. The remembrance began with Ott reading a chilling poem by Brian Doyle of. called Leave. It was followed with, by students sharing prayers from several different faiths and ended with a moment of silence for all the victims. To labor and to love. Servants of God. Most gracious are those who walk on the earth. We wanted to emphasize the importance of interfaith, and when 9-11 happened, there's, since then that stemmed a lot of um, hatred and you know issues between different faiths, and so what we did here today was bring together um, faith traditions such as like Judaism and Hinduism and Muslim or Islam and uh, Christianity, and we wanted to just highlight that all of these faiths can come together and memorialize this event. The service was organized by the Better Together Interfaith Group. Weekend Fun came early last week with the start of the annual Prime Beef Festival. The Prime Beef Festival was founded in 1948 when Monmouth, Illinois, was sending more beef to the Chicago stockyards than any other location. Carnival goer Sydney Brigville has been attending the carnival every year since she was five, making this year her 10th visit. Brakeville said her favorite thing about the um, carnival is... The zipper and the food, probably. Um, the curly fries and the cheese on the stick. The Prime Beef Festival will return next year on the week following Labor Day. Write, rehearse, and perform a play in 24 hours. That was the challenge this weekend. The third annual Fusion Fest started on Friday night where the students began to write their 10-minute plays. The fest continued throughout the night with revisions and rehearsals and ended with the plays being performed Saturday night in the Fusion Theater. Seven different players performed during the hour and a half and also included some audience participation. The community, especially getting into an area like this, can see how, how art can be made so spontaneously, how art can be produced, created, thought of. Um, and in our communities itself, we have the art in us. And, um, you know, there's always that little voice that's sitting there that says, I want to I wanna get out there, I want to do something, I want to be this. The theater department's next performance is Oedipus Rex at the Wells Theater on October 27th through the 30th. Taking a look at some events on campus this week. Tomorrow, the Monmouth Associates Luncheon will be held in the Highlander Room of Stockdale at 12 p.m. And Family Weekend events start on Friday at 7 p.m. with magician Ben Seedman and Doll Chapel. The full schedule can be found at monmouthcollege.edu slash familyweekend. And on Saturday, Crimson Mask will be hosting a midnight showing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show at the Fusion Theater. Coming up after the break, Mama College football team takes on Warburg.
Scots opened their home football season this past Saturday against Wartburg. Wartburg started the game strong, scoring the first two touchdowns early in the first quarter. In the second, the score now Knights 15, Scott 7, Tanner Matlick hit Ben Moore for an 83-yard touchdown, and Alec Ducko ran in for a two-point conversion. Late in the third, Matlick connected with Ducko for a 19-yard touchdown, and the Scots took the lead. In the fourth, Trent Raines caught a pass from Matlick for the Scots' final touchdown of the day. Wartburg scored late in the fourth, forcing an onside kick that was secured by Blake Little to seal the win for the Scots. Monum took the win against Wartburg with a final score of 29-22. Matlick finished today with four touchdowns, and Matt Barnes with one tackle shy of the program record at 19. Uh, the Scouts will play Ripon next Saturday at 1 o'clock. That's it for sports. Here's the scores from the week. That's it for MCTV this week. I'm Tate Heipel. And I'm Christian Corbett. Tune in next week for another broadcast of MCTV This Week. And I'm Lily Guillen, and you can also watch us on the web by going to monmouthcollege.edu slash MCTV. See you next week.